Is the Patriot missile system, a symbol of American defense prowess, now obsolete in the face of Russian hypersonic missiles? This is the question that has been stirring up debates among military enthusiasts and defense strategists around the globe. The Patriot missile system, once a beacon of American technological advancement and strategic might, now appears to be on the verge of obsolescence. It's like a heavyweight boxer in the ring with a nimble, swift-footed opponent. On the other side of the equation, we have the Russian hypersonic missiles. These speed demons, including the likes of the Avangard and the Zircon, are rewriting the rules of the game. They're flying at speeds that leave the Patriot system struggling to keep up, potentially reshaping the global defense dynamics. The disparity in capabilities is glaring and the implications are profound, but to fully grasp the gravity of the situation, we need context. We need history. To answer this, we first need to understand how we got here, beginning with the birth of the Patriot missile system. In the heart of the Cold War, the Patriot missile system emerged as a beacon of American defense technology. Born from a period of intense global tension, the Patriot was conceived as an answer to the growing threat of ballistic missiles. Its name, an acronym standing for Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target, is a testament to its key mission to detect, target, and neutralize incoming threats. The Patriot's journey began in the late 70s as part of a larger program to replace the Nike Hercules systems. By the mid-80s, the first operational Patriot systems were deployed, marking a new era in missile defense. The system's true test, however, would come in the early 90s during the Gulf War. The Patriot's role in intercepting Iraqi Scud missiles was broadcasted around the globe, solidifying its reputation as a reliable defense system. But the Patriot was never a one-trick pony. Over the years, it has seen numerous upgrades, each aimed at improving its capabilities. From the Pac-2 upgrade in the late 80s that enhanced its ability to counter tactical ballistic missiles, to the Pac-3 upgrade in the early 21st century that bolstered its capacity to intercept cruise missiles and aircraft, the Patriot has constantly evolved to meet the ever-changing landscape of warfare. In its current iteration, the Patriot boasts a range of advanced features. It can engage a wide spectrum of threats from drones to ballistic missiles. It has a robust radar system capable of tracking hundreds of targets simultaneously. And with its multiple launch system, it can fire several interceptors at once, increasing its chances of neutralizing an incoming threat. While the Patriot has been an icon of American defense, the advent of hypersonic technology by adversaries like Russia poses new challenges. The speed and maneuverability of these new weapons demand a fresh look at our defense strategies. The question that looms now is not whether the Patriot is capable, but rather, is it capable enough to meet these new threats head on? On the other side of the globe, Russia has been developing a new generation of missiles that are fast, precise, and devastatingly powerful. Let's dive into the world of Russian hypersonic missile technology. We're talking about groundbreaking weapons here, the Avangard and the Zircon. These are not just any missiles, they are hypersonic. That means they can travel at speeds over five times the speed of sound. We're talking about a blistering speed that outpaces even the most advanced missile defense systems, including the Patriot. The Avangard, for instance, is a truly futuristic weapon. It's a hypersonic glide vehicle that can reach a staggering speed of 27 times the speed of sound. To put that into perspective, that's faster than a bullet fired from a high-powered rifle, but it's not just about speed. The Avangard also boasts an impressive range. It can strike targets over 6,000 miles away. That's like hitting a bullseye in New York from Moscow. And if that's not enough, it can also maneuver mid-flight making it incredibly difficult for missile defense systems to intercept. Then there's the Zircon. This sea-launched hypersonic missile is designed to take out naval vessels. It's fast, incredibly fast, reaching speeds of up to eight times the speed of sound. And with a range of over 600 miles, it poses a significant threat to any naval fleet. What makes these missiles even more formidable is their precision. They can hit their targets with an accuracy of just a few meters. That's like hitting the bullseye on a dartboard from miles away. These missiles are not just weapons, they are game changers. They're shifting the balance of power and changing the way we think about defense. The speed, range, and accuracy of these missiles make them a formidable force on the battlefield. 
With these new weapons, Russia has seemingly leapfrogged the Patriot missile system. But what does this mean for the future? That's a question we'll explore in our next scene. For now, let's just say that the world of missile defense is facing a new challenge, one that could change everything. In a world where hypersonic missiles are becoming a reality, the question is, can the Patriot system keep up? The advent of Russian hypersonic technology, particularly the Avangard and Zircon missiles, presents a significant challenge to the current missile defense systems of the United States. The incredible speed and maneuverability of these hypersonic missiles make them difficult to intercept, putting conventional systems like the Patriot at a disadvantage. The Patriot system, despite its numerous upgrades and evolution over the years, was simply not designed to combat threats moving at hypersonic speeds. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. The Russian hypersonics, with their ability to reach speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, can bypass the Patriot system with ease, leaving the United States with little to no reaction time. However, this does not necessarily mean an end to the Patriot system or any other missile defense technology. It's more of a wake-up call. This is a race, a technological arms race. And in any race, there are always catch-ups, overtakes, and unexpected turns. The United States, in response to this challenge, is investing heavily in the research and development of hypersonic technology. The goal is not just to match the Russians, but to go beyond, to innovate. This includes exploring new materials for missile construction, advanced propulsion systems and cutting-edge tracking technology. The future of missile defense could also rely heavily on space-based systems. Satellites with the ability to track and potentially neutralize hypersonic missiles could be a game-changer. It's a monumental task, but it's not impossible. With the United States' extensive experience in space technology, it is a viable path to pursue. Innovation, adaptation, and resilience have always been key aspects of any defense strategy. This hypersonic challenge is just another hurdle to overcome. It's a call to action, a call to innovation. The Patriot system may be facing obsolescence today, but it's not the end. It's an opportunity for a new beginning a leap towards the future. In the face of hypersonic threats, the evolution of missile defense technology is more critical than ever before. The question that may be on the lips of many is, what is a hypersonic glide vehicle? A hypersonic glide vehicle is a type of maneuverable warhead that flies at incredibly high speeds, typically above Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. Here's a simplified overview of how it works. One. Launch. An HGV is launched into space on a ballistic missile or a rocket. Two. Boost phase. The vehicle is propelled to high altitude and velocity. Three. Glide phase. After reaching the apex of its trajectory, the HGV separates from the launch vehicle and begins its glide phase. Four. Maneuvering. During the glide phase, the HGV uses its aerodynamic design and control surfaces to maneuver and adjust its trajectory. Five. Terminal phase. The HGV descends and approaches its target using its maneuverability to evade defenses. HGVs are designed to be highly unpredictable and difficult to intercept due to their speed, maneuverability and ability to change direction mid-flight. This makes them a significant challenge for missile defense systems.